Hi guys! What's up? Welcome back into my YouTube channel. And for today's video is pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung mga tips and techniques in how to pass the Alorica interview questions and application process para ma-hire, especially for those na naghahanap ng mga work as a call center agent and hope that you consider Alorica as one of the companies that you want to apply. So, uh, sa lahat mo ng mga hindi nakakaalam, Alorica is one of the largest um, BPO companies here in the Philippines and Alorica actually does offer a lot of um, premium accounts, especially sa Telco. So, uh, parang sa nalaman ko, meron silang AT&T account, um, Comcast, Xfinity, Verizon, T-Mobile. They also have a premium um, financial accounts like PayPal, uh, meron din silang Microsoft, meron din silang retail accounts like Walmart, eBay. So, ayun. So, sa mga gusto mag-apply, marami pong mga accounts na available sa Alorica. And, ayun. So, for today's video, pag-uusapan natin yung kanilang application process at paano nga ba magtrabaho as a customer service representative or technical support representative dito sa Alorica. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So, sa mga naghahanap dyan, so, um, Alorica actually, um, ang tagatin dito, um, hires um, newbies, yung mga walang BPO um, experience. Um, Nag-hire din sila ng um, senior high school graduates or old high school curriculum graduates. So, um, unfortunately, hindi sila na, wala silang part-time job. Pero, um, ayun, nag-offer sila ng full-time job. So, sa mga currently enroll or nagpa-plano mag-enroll uh, soon this year, um, hindi, hindi nila tinatanggap kasi for long time at permanent account yung in-offer ng, ang tawag natin dito, ng Alorica. So, sa mga gusto mag-apply, ayan, so make sure na, ayun, wala kayong plano na magbumalik muna ng uh, trabaho sa ibang, um, like abroad or other um job or gustong mag uh, aral within this year so ayun so full time at um, long time yung mga employees na hinahanap ng Alorica for the meantime so ayun so sa mga gustong mag-apply sa Alorica you can go directly meron din silang um, online or via phone na application but I highly suggest na mag-walk in kayo kasi mas mabilis kasi one day process lang talaga ang Alorica sa kanilang application process so sa mga gustong mag-walk in just go to the nearest Alorica and then go straight to the recruitment hub so ayun so um, let's talk about address code first sa application. So, parang um, sa lahat ng mga companies na napuntahan ko um, at na-applyan, parang alari ko yung medyo strict when it comes to dress code sa kanilang mga applicants. So, make sure that you wear appropriate dress or um, outfit for um, application. So, bawal lang mag-slippers. Yun yung napansin ko kasi may isang aplikante na umuwi kasi naka-chinelas naka lang siya. So, ayun. So, um, wear shoes or sandals. It would be okay. And, ayun. So, pagpupunta ka doon, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is um, magsabi na you're a walking applicant and then you should present a valid ID as well as your vaccination card because they do require their applicants and their employees na fully vaccinated. Kahit walang booster, basta fully vaccinated, it's okay. So, ayun, pagkatapos nun is pupunta ka sa receptionist and magtatanong siya ng mga questions like your name, your age, where you're from, and then um, work experience, kung meron kang BPO experience, or anong previous work experience mo kung meron ka. So, make sure na pwede mo din yung sabihin. Uh, huwag mahihiyang magsabi kung ano yung mga work experiences mo dati. Like, working as a receptionist, ganun-ganun. So, everything would be an advantage and a plus. Okay? And then, after nun, uh, pinaupo ako sa lobby. And then, uh, parang 5 minutes, pinipare yung system. So, may computer doon. So, mafi-fill up ka doon sa information mo. Additional uh, personal information like your name, um, your personal details, um, kung saan ka na trabaho dati, kung meron kang work experience. If wala, okay lang naman. If you're a senior high school graduate, um, if you're a college undergraduate, anong years, ang school, um, ganun. Tapos, um, in case of emergency, mga ganun. So, parang... Um, personal information lang siya na form and then pinaupo ako pabalik kasi maghihintay ako for my initial interview so ayun nag wait lang ako ng around 10 minutes so marami marami na yung mga tao din andun so uh, make sure din na pag mag-a-apply kayo they're open 9am so it's better to go like around 8.30 kasi mas mabilis kayong may entertain if uh, maaga kayong pumunta doon sa kanilang site so ayun first come first serve basis kasi so mas madaling matapos mas madali ka makaka at makakaalam ng result okay so, ayun. So, tinawag ko for initial interview. So, yung initial interview talagang medyo challenging. 
So, ayun. So, yung question sa akin is like, tell me about yourself. Ganun. And then, about my work experience. Kasi meron akong work experience as, e- as ESL teacher at customer service representative. So, ayun, tinanong din ako about sa ESL. Tinanong din ako about sa customer service. Ayun. So, ano yung mga um, pinaka-struggling part? Working for both um, work. And then, yung natutunan ko. And then, um, ano yung greatest takeaway ko? Or yung pinaka-greatest lesson? Na, na natutunan ko from both work experiences and then ayun so standard questions then like I can, can I work like in shifting schedule like in work work inside kasi hin, wala siyang in-offer na work from home as of the moment ganon tapos ayun tapos tinanong ako like am I willing to work kasi i-assess ka din sa initial interview eh kung sang account ka nila ilalagay. So, initial interview pa lang, alam mo na kung saan account ka ilalagay. So, I was offered actually ang um, telco account, AT&T Technical Support Representative. Yung binigay sa akin. Dati, AT&T ako, pero sales representative. But this time, they offered me a technical support representative position. So, ayun. Tapos, meron silang, I think, dalawa, anything under the sun question. So, ang tinanong sa akin is, um, if there is, is um, if there is anything na uh, gusto kong i-change sa buhay ko dati, um, ano yon at ano kaya yung outcome if ever na-change ko yun. Ganun. Tapos pangalawa is, um, ano yung pinaka-proud ako na personality meron ako na makakatulong sa akin to become a good or an expert customer service representative or ITSR, like technical support representative. So, ayun, tinanong ako ganun-ganun. Then, ayun, tapos pinabalik ako sa lobby, then wait lang ako sa aking result. So, yung initial interview lasted about... Um, 15 minutes, ganon. So, tip ko lang then is sound confident. So, it means smile. Ayan, treat your cause, uh, your interviewer as your friend. Hindi yung parang boss or supervisor na parang matatakot ka, matitans, or pressure ka. So, yung talk like parang casual lang siya na conversation. And then, ayan, so, always smile. Eye contact is very important. At, as well as, um, be confident be authentic, show your personality, and then, ayun, be honest sa lahat ng mga tanong sa'yo. So, ayun. So, kailangan yun ng honesty when we work, and then clear voice. Make sure na maganda yung pagka-deliver mo, yung English speaking skills mo, yung accent, yung ganun ganon everything. Should be honest, should be authentic. Dapat kung ano ka, yun yung ipakita mo. Okay? So, after non five minutes after I was called um, to do an orientation for their um, Alorica assessment or your Harvey ata yun. Harvey Colors. Nakalimutan ko kung pangalan ng assessment nila. Basta ganun. Parang siyang same siya sa teleperformance din eh. Parang ganun yung kanya. So, ganun. So, ayun. Kinanggratulate ako kasi nakapasa nga ako sa initial interview. Tapos proceed na ako doon para sa kanilang assessment. So, sa assessment, meron kang targeted na iba sa kanila. Iba yung assessment nila. Kasi may score kung saan ka magla-land kung yung score mo, doon ka ilalagay yung account. So, for example, ako, in ako ng Talco account, so, meron akong i-reach dapat na score para maabot ko yun. Ang maganda naman is kung lower yung score mo, i-reprofile ka nila sa ibang account. Okay? Tapos, magtitake ka na naman ng assessment sa specific na account na yun. So, for example, Talco account yung pinakamataas. Sunod na is financial. So, pag hindi ko maabot yun, ilalagay nila ako sa financial. Kung hindi pa yung, yung mapasa yung financial, meron pa silang lower like healthcare or something. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga accounts nila for lower kasi hindi na ako masyado na- nakinig kasi nga ayun nabibisi na ako na mag um, na mag sync in lahat ng ng sinasabi tapos ayun assessment kasi nerve wracking siya. So ayun so yung after na ginawa ko doon is eh, pumunta na nga ako sa assessment um uh, room. So ayun sa computer so kailangan mong uh, kailangan mong i-provide yung email, yung active email na ginamit mo pag register. Tapos, kailangan mong i-open yun kasi doon papasok yung mga links doon sa email mo ng iyong um, tests. So, ayun. So, merong tatlong tests na in-email. So, again guys, make sure din na sa email ad nyo is alam nyo yung password. Kasi pag hindi nyo alam yung password, palalabasin kayo. Tapos, if you figure out nyo. So, kailangan alam nyo yung email, yung email nyo at yung password. Okay? So, tatlo yung test na tinake So, the first one, that was the SVAR test or SWAR test. So, um, um, speaking English, verbal, ganun yun siya na assessment. So, doon is para maibalipa siyang category. The first one is read the word, phrases, and sentences. Ayun, tapos babasahin mo lang. 
Ayun, dapat clear yung voice nyo. And then, yung accent, tanggalin nyo rin yun. Hindi nakakatulong yung masyadong accent kasi na-over na, na, na yung pagka, pagkakasalita. So, yung speaking normal, speaking English voice nyo or pronunciation, yun yung gamitin nyo, yung neutral voice. And then, meron din doong um, repeat after me. So, may makikinggan kang audio na magsasabi ng words, sentences, or phrases. Tapos, i-repeat mo lang siya. And then, situational questions. Ayun. So, um... Kung ganon yung ibibigay sa ng situation, tapos mag-answer ka for around 30 seconds. Ganon. So, after nun, um, pangalawang test is the personality test. So, there are 72 questions. Yung nare-remember ko pa rin yun. So, ano yung, um, like, you would rate yourself from 1 being the lowest to 5 being the highest. Like, for example, are you type of a person na hinihinga ng tulong ng mga workmates mo or your friend? So, yun, rate mo yourself mo kung 1 ka ba or 5. Tapos, ayan, so, are you an outdoorsy person? 1 to 5. Um, do you like to stay at home? Ganun, ganun ang mga question. Personality test lang nga lang siya. So, ganun. So, after sa personality test, the third exam was typing test. So, dalawa yung typing test sa category. The first typing test was, um, Ang tawagin dito, um, maglalagay ka lang ng mga magdedeta entry cam. So may makikinggan ka na audio, then ita-type mo yung mga information. So sa baba may mga name, ganun ganun. If you fill up mo yun basing doon sa audio na makikinggan mo. So pwede mo ulitin yung audio. So um, yung tricky kasi doon is yung contact number, uh, ganun yung um Anong name ng color, mga ganun lang naman siya. So, parang sa data entry, parang dalawa. Yung na, dalawa yung audio na kailangan mong i-entry yung kanilang mga data. And then, the second one is the typing test. Talaga na words per minute. So, yung sinabi sa amin is, kailangan 35 words per minute. So, dapat mabilis. 35 words per minute with 100% accuracy. So, it means... Dapat sa tinipe mo na article or something, wala ka dapat mali. Dapat accurate lahat ng words, punctuation marks, and spacing. Ganon. So, after nun, after kung matake yun, ako yung pinakauna. Actually, marami kami. So, dapat focus ka sa sarili mo kasi makikin, maririnig mo yun din yung iba na nagtitake na kanilang test. So, make sure dito sa assessment, focus sa screen mo. Huwag ka nang, huwag mo nang pakinggan yung iba kasi talaga mawawala ka. And ayun, pagkatapos nun is lumabas na ako doon sa testing area. And then, um, ang nangyari is, uh, nag-wait ako ng 30 minutes. So, nasa 11, 11, 13 ata yun ng umaga. So, nag-lunch break yung um, mga recruiters, interviewers. So, medyo natagalan. So, nag-resume is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, tinawagan ako, pinapasok ko sa room, and I, they congratulated me. Ang dalawa sila na andun sa loob. For my final interview yon so isang recruiter at isang team manager or TL, team leader. So, ayun. So, sinabi nila, congratulations, I've passed for the Talco account for AT&T um, Technical Support Representative. Tapos, ang final interview kami. So, dito is para kang nagde-defend ng tesis. Ganun yung nangyayari. So, dun sa final interview, uh, it's more of casual and handling situation questions. So, for example, um, magtatanong yung interviewer like, uh, or yung TL, na, if ever that you will get a call from an irate customer who don't, um, who doesn't let you speak, what would you do? Ganun. So, sabi ka naman is, um, it's important for me to listen to the concern of the of the of the customer and while he or she is speaking I would um utilize my tools to give a resolution as fast as I could because I know that the customer is very frustrated and angry so it's very important that we could give a precise and um and tawag nito, right resolution. And also, when it's time for me to speak, uh, what I would do is to make sure that I would sound confident and I would assure that the customer is speaking to an expert or to the right person for me to be, for the, um, for assurance and uh, to make sure that I could pacify as well as um, to give a good resolution from that customer who has been very um, impatient with the concern that he or she is having. Ganon. So, ganon-ganon na mga questions. So, parang tatlo yung question. Tapos, um, after nun, um, mayroon din din binigay na what would be the factors that we should not hire you. So, ayun. So, 
yung sagot ko talaga doon is um I don't see anything or like a reason for you not to hire me because I am a um, passionate um employee. I would um work with eagerness and willingness to um provide um expected outcomes. I'm a type of person is multitasker. Ganun ganun so like, explain ako ng mga qualities na meron ako and that should be the reason why they should not hire me because I have all of those um qualities for them to hire me ganun. So wala akong nakikitang rason para hindi niyo ako i-hire ganun. Tapos sound confident, sound impactful. Ganun. And then the third one is um yung pinaka-importante na question is um how would I see myself growing in Alorica if there are a lot of BPO companies out there? What makes Alorica the good platform or the industry that um, could make me in an expert when it comes to being a customer service representative? So, ganun, explain din ako ng answer ko. Like, what are my expectations? What are my goals working in Alorica? And how I would see myself five years from now? What position I am aiming to? So, ganun. So, ganun yung mga sagot-sagot ko talaga. So, Ayun, pinauwi nila ako after noon kasi okay na daw. So, I would be hearing from them after. Ang binigay sa akin is um, within the week. So, na-expect ako like, because that is Monday, na-expect ako na mga Friday, Thursday, ganun. But, kinabukasan, first thing in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, they called me because I got the job. They have a job offer for me. And then also, they um, nahay na ako doon sa AT&T, um, customer sir, uh, technical support representative na position. And they also um, up, um, offered me a different position as well. And that is a trainer post. Kasi magaling daw ako sa assessment and regarding about my teaching background because I work as an ESL teacher before, right? So, gusto din nila akong ipatry na mag-apply doon sa trainer position. So, ayun. So, di ba may, may, kung hindi man kuman mapasa yung um teaching demo nila yung para sa final nila na assessment for trainer position mayroon akong work agad then so ayun yung nangyari is sobrang parang thankful ako kasi ang daming blessings binigay sa akin so you can see guys marami talagang opportunities dito sa Alorica and just you know just being yourself you can be whoever or whatever you want in the position or in the company if you are authentic if you sound confident if you are proud and if you have good um, uh, connection or communication skills and how you um, treat the interviewers because talagang doon makikita nila na ay, magaling to, i-hire natin to at parang magiging magaling na asen to, pwede tong promotion dito sa company natin, ganun so always make sure guys that you should be the best version of yourself go into interviews, kahit hindi sa Alorica yan, sound confident be Dito, be who you are, be authentic, and sound like you have an impact. Sound like talaga kailangan niyo kong ihar kasi magaling ako. Ganun na, na personality ang dapat niyong um, i-maintain. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung mga tips ko sa mga gusto mag-apply sa Alorica. And hoping that this video has been very helpful for all of you guys. So, if you do have questions, please um, comment them down below. And if you find this video very helpful at nakatulong naman kahit pa paano, please give this video a like. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're well to 8,000 subscribers, guys. And ayan, so share this video and hit notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga future videos ko. And that's it for this video. Hope to see you soon on my next vlog. Bye, guys!